Welcome to the Castle Mill stretch of the River Whitewater in the Loddon Catchment. We're here today for a practical river enhancement event. This is led by the Loddon Fisheries and Conservation Consultative and is funded by the Rivers and Wetlands Community Days programme. We're using wood habitats in the river, trapping suspended solids and silts, creating a range of complex habitats in the Chalk River previously impounded, dredged and overmanaged. Here, experts in geomorphology from Queen Mary University London, Environment Agency operations staff, the public, artists and international colleagues from Brazil are building capacity, improving river habitats together. Yes. What we'll do, we'll get the other if side. Right, is it? Well. Okay. Okay. If you do it too, you do it too tight. Yeah. When you lift it, yeah. kind of let it go at it's the um, end. It's and then just hold on to it. Ladies, if you, um, come back. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's one aim in life at the moment. Just trying to pull me. It's not in a very good mood. That's it. It's vital any wood placed in rivers is properly secured, not drifting off in floods, and actively monitored. Um, Put it securely where the river wants it, and it can be there for hundreds of years, stabilising river bed and banks. Wood in rivers also helps our wildlife and habitats adapt to a changing climate and a range of river flows. Take it out and there is little or no refuge for the creatures wanting to live there. We can see how quickly the wood starts to work, cleaning gravels, trapping and sorting sediments. We even had a moorhen's nest in a week on one of the new refuges put in. Here we can see some of the excellent previous work by the Castle Mill River Keepers. This work has increased the number of trout caught in fish surveys significantly. It's a fantastic result. Woody habitats are creating varied flows, depths, and now offer established wildlife retreats. Greywell site is a great case study for low cost chalk river restoration work, but this can only take place in collaboration with landowners and the community. This is where catchment partnerships have a vital role developing projects such as this in future.